Hi friends, it's Jody Renshaw with Studio 36 and The Thrifty Pigeon. And I have something very exciting to show you today. Something I picked up not while thrifting, um, but something I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to show you guys. So I'm gonna move a little bit so you can see it. Do you see what's over here? Do you want me to bring it closer? I'll bring it closer. One second. Hi guys. This is Mowgli. Mowgli, look. Look over here. Mowgli. <laughs> Mowgli, look. It's all your new friends. Right in there. No? You've had it? Mowgli went for a ride today and he went, he actually went to a thrift store with me, to the Catholic Charities one. And uh, so he's pooped. So anyway, this is Mowgli. He's been here two days and everyone is in love with him. He's got a best friend in my other Aussie. And my younger Aussie is still feeling him out, but she's not, she's not mean or anything. So that's why everything behind me is set up for puppies. The couch, there's a big um, crate, dog crate, but he's not gonna be using it, I don't think. I think he's just gonna be coming with me everywhere. But Mowgli is an Australian Shepherd. People keep asking me if he's a St. Bernard. <laughs> if he was a St. Bernard, he'd be much, much bigger than this. Look at you, Mogs. You're so tired. You had a big day. Okay, I'm gonna go put them down and then we can do our haul, our real haul, thrift haul. But you are the best haul of all. I drove an hour with my best friend to go get him two days ago. And now my best girl wants one of these too. Who wouldn't? This is my fifth one. My third um, that's still with us. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so he's still over there. Whoop, let me see. He's just chilling. He is such a chill dog. Oh my gosh, I know it's only day two, but my other two were not like this. And he's not, he's very, very healthy. It's not that, he's just very chill. He loves playing with the other dogs. He tries to play with the cats, but. So, yeah, that's really exciting. So that happened two days ago. And uh, I'm not getting much sleep because I have to wake up every few hours to take care of the puppy. And that's just what you do the first few weeks. So I'm exhausted. I'm drinking a lot of coffee. Let's have some together. No mug today. Today is a Tim Hortons day. So cheers. cold black coffee I do have a haul today that is from Goodwill and the Catholic charities that I went to today I went to Goodwill three days ago and so that's two days without going thrifting with the puppy and so I was jonesing and so I had to go today and he was really good I just held him and uh, he hung out and and people didn't overwhelm him that was good so um, I like it when people just I it, it's fine if you want to touch my dog of course uh, but you know if they don't overwhelm him and nobody did so that was really sweet and people took pictures of him so why wouldn't you <laughs> alright so speaking of dogs oh well I wanted to show you my dress from um, how do you say it again? A ombre. A-M-B-R-I-E. Where I get all my dresses. Not all my dresses, but this is my Finding Nemo-esque dress. This one's too big on me now. Um, but I've been selling the ones that are too big on me at uh, on my eBay. And this one I just... I don't want to because they don't make it anymore and I love it so much but if I stood up and showed you the whole dress 
it looks like I'm having triplets. So, so I just wear it when, I just wear it. I just wear it, let people think I'm having triplets. At my age, that would be something. <laughs> so, all right, so let's get started. Um, this sweet dog I picked up at Goodwill, made in Japan. And I paid up a little bit for him, but I think he's a beagle and those seem to do well. He's definitely vintage. He has a couple of flea bites. They're called flea bites. I'm not trying to be funny because he's a dog, but flea bites on his um, ear or just, they're not chips. So he's in really, he or she is in really nice condition. So um, yeah, I think I'll do that one on a live sale. And this is where I always should have said this ahead of time. If you're watching this video and there's anything here that you want, just email me. The um, email is down below. And it's easier for you and it's easier for me if we make a sale or even a trade um, on in that way so that it, we don't have to pay listing fees and percentages and all that stuff. So if that is of interest to you, let me know. And these, these are dirty, but you know I'm always going to pick up plates. I didn't unwrap them yet, but these are made in Romania. You know I love floral, you know I love plates. These are little appetizer dessert plates, uh, $3 for the whole thing. So how's he doing? Is he sleeping? So I love the floral pattern. So I, ha I haven't looked these up, but I think I'll do all right with them. And these are sweet. Let's see if I can do this in the right order. No, wait. Okay. Hear no evil. See no evil. And speak no evil. Owls. I've never seen such a thing. They are not marked. I found them at Goodwill in a bag, so I couldn't believe they weren't bashed up. But they're in really nice shape and probably a live sale for those, unless somebody wants them. And let's see. Remember the elephants that I dropped? That was fun. Okay, so this is more modern, but because they look vintage, I love them. And because they're floral, oh, that's just a big old price tag on that side, so I can't really tell. The creamer and sugar, and they are by, and I love stuff by this company, two, uh, 200 and, 222 fifth, or is it 5th? I don't know how you say it, yeah. The pattern's called Andrea Red. Dishwasher and microwave safe. But I, all of their stuff, it seems, not maybe not all of it, but a lot of it seems to look very retro. So I really like these. And I have some, of, some pieces on eBay. I'll try these on eBay and see what happens. They're just so pretty. Uh, let's see, pottery. You guys know I love pottery. I paid up for this, but I'm not even mad at myself. I am not mad at myself at all. They put, Goodwill put this in the hand-picked section where they grab things out and sell them at a higher price. It does have a stamp here by the artist. Not sure if you can see that. It's hard for me to read. It looks like HB, so um, maybe that's someone people know. I love the partial glaze. Like right here, it feels rough, and here it just feels so nice. And then inside is fully glazed, and the top is fully glazed while inside is not, and the rim is not. It's just a nice combo. So the, um, the lid knob is great. No cracks, nothing. This is just such a nice piece. So again, like I always say with pottery, I don't know what to do with it. If 
I should put it in the shop, if I should put it on eBay, if I should do live sale. I've got to play around with that because I'm collecting so much pottery. So that piece though, mm, mm. okay, moving on. This is Libby, I, and it's dirty, it is dirty. It's got the signature L, I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, and it's got all kinds of different drinks you can make. Very MCM. Very, I'm gonna use all these words wrong, and then someone's gonna talk about it later, about how people use all these words wrong. But I think this looks like atomic, mid-century modern. I probably used those words wrong. So I'll give you a recipe, guys. This is how to make a gimlet. Two ounces of beef eater, one and three quarter ounce of roses lime juice, Mix over ice and strain and garnish with a lime wedge. And that's what it looks like. So there are one, two, three, four drinks on here. I wish I found the whole set. I searched. I mean, that's when they're their best, right? But one is nice for your bar. This, my husband and I were trying to figure out what it was. I bought it because it said William and Sonoma. And, you know, made in Portugal, and William and Sonoma seems to do really well for me and for others. It is a, and, and you're probably like, I already know what this is. And you, you know what? I wish I was more fancy, but I'm wearing a Finding Nemo dress. My hair's in pigtails. I'm not that fancy. Um, are these called pigtails? Yeah, ponytails in the back, pigtail, pigtails. Okay. So... I am wearing Hamilton earrings, though, that my son bought me. It says, who tells your story? I cried when he gave these to me for Christmas. Literally cried, because oh, that's a story for another day. OK. So you put toothpicks in here and olives. Of course you do in Portugal. I don't know that we do a whole lot of that here. We need to eat more olives. But yeah, isn't that nice? So these do, it looks like they do between 25 and 30 on eBay. So it wasn't a terrible purchase. <clears throat> okay, so I thought this was a sheet and I was really excited to get a Grover sheet for I think $2 in perfect, perfect condition. I mean, there are other people on here, of course, but <laughs> you know, Grover, so. I love Grover. And so anyway, I thought it was a sheet and I was happy about that. And then I was like, if it doesn't sell, then I'll cut it up and um, use it in my crafts. This is yards and yards of polyester blend fabric. So, and it smells good. Uh, it smells like, it smells like somebody used good laundry one day and then put it away. So it smells like good attic like wood attic, good attic, and laundry detergent. So I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't, I haven't counted the yardage, but um, it's fun. It has Big Bird and Cookie Monster and Ernie and Bert, but it mostly has Grover. Grover for the win. Okay, not much else, not much left, guys. I didn't buy much stuff. <clears throat> Irish coffee mugs. Not just any Irish coffee mugs. You guys are probably like, I see these all the time. No, you don't. Not these. Watch. So first, they're Inesco, and they still have the sticker. Why is... There we go. I need to put the other lens on. But they have poems on the back, and they're different. And I'm going to read them to you. But they're blessings, Irish blessings. I need to keep looking over here. Is that creepy? No one has told me yet. If, I, if it's better if I look to the side so I can see what I'm showing you, or if it's better if I look at you, I don't know if it's totally creepy to like stare at you. <laughs> so you can tell me in the comments, please. I need help. All right, let's do this one. Yeah, because the second, okay, one of them I like a lot. 
So this one's nice. May the roads rise with you and the wind be always at your back and may the Lord hold you in the hollow of his hand. That's lovely. Thank you for that blessing. Now this one. <laughs> I want this t-shirt. Like, I don't know. I want to make this a thing. May you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. I'm not kidding. May you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> That's so awesome. I've never heard that before. Have you guys heard that before? I am tempted to keep that. <clears throat> but those will probably go on eBay. And then I found this mug that I never knew existed. It is a Lefton 1957. I don't know why it says 61. It's very dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Um, so when I saw it, the front, it had a bird on it. It says, good morning, darling. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's cute. Somebody's going to love that. It has... A manufacturer's flaw, right? Um, right up there. It's not a chip. I mean, it doesn't feel like a chip. It, it's like glazed over. So, so because of that, I would say this has no chips or cracks. Just is very dirty. Okay, so I saw that side and I went and grabbed it at the Catholic charity place. And then on this side it says... Good morning, you old grouch. <laughs> so I guess it just depends on what side of the mug you wake up on. So my husband is left-handed. So he would read, good morning, you old grouch. I'm right-handed. So I would see, good morning, darling. Makes perfect sense to me. So this one... Probably live sale. I think you guys would like this for a live sale. Then you can decide how much you want to pay. What did I say? 1957? Oh my gosh. I have to do math. Okay, I know it's over 50 years old. That's all we need to know. Half a century old. Looking good. Okay, so here's a funny story. I have two funny stories. This one's not that funny. So I saw this John Steinbeck. I saw it from the side. <clears throat> Grapes of Wrath. And I was like, that's old. That is old. And then I opened it up. And I saw that. And what would happen if you saw just one copyright date? You would think, this is a first edition. So I'm like looking through, like this is in really good shape. It says 1939. I know that's about when this was written. Oh my God, I have a first edition Grapes of Wrath. I figured it was probably worth money, but even if it wasn't, I was like, I love that book. I have a first edition Grapes of Wrath for 50 cents. So I left feeling like I might be going to Jersey again soon. I might be able to pay for another trip to Philly. Honestly, whenever I think I've bought something amazing, that's what I think of. Get me to Newark. <laughs> Which is funny because my relatives that live in Jersey are moving to Maine and they're super happy. And I'm like, I want to trade houses. But anyway, I think they're keeping both houses. So, what's the catch, you say? It's worth a little bit of money. It's not going to take me to Philly. My husband wants to go to Cali. It's not going to take us there either. Because it is the first Canadian edition. <laughs> oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. So, that's cool. It's the first edition in a particular country. That's cool. I have to turn this down. But I was hoping this was worth 
hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Someday, just not today. Just not today, boys and girls. Okay, so last, I have a pile of books to show you. And <laughs> I was telling my son this story. So I hope this is okay with you and not too crass. It's human. So it is what it is. And I was, I, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm holding my puppy and I'm looking through the books and I'm scrunched way down because the kids' books are really low. And this woman passes by me ever so slowly. She says, excuse me. And I move, I shimmy in a little bit because my butt's not small. And I said, sure, no problem. And as she walks by, <laughs> God bless her, as she walks by, she must have tooted. And by tooted, I mean fart. She must have tooted like six times in a row <laughs> as she passed by me. And I, of course, am pretending that it didn't happen. She's pretending it didn't happen. But guys, farts are funny. Farts are so funny. Why are they so funny? And then I was like, I'm glad the mask mandate hasn't been lifted yet. Because <laughs> I had my mask on, which I'm probably going to keep on because I just love it. But that's a story for another day, too. So, um, <laughs> so I just kept sniffing my puppy. And um, tooting is funny. So I wasn't mad at her. She made my day. <laughs> okay, so some old books, some of which I grew up with. Look at this one, A Weekly Reader, The Whispering Rabbit, and Other Stories by Margaret Wise Brown. This one is in awesome condition, and it's too cute. Oh my God, is it too, I just want to bite it. It has, I think, is it the same illustrator through the whole thing? I'm not certain of that. Yes, Garth Willem, William, Willems? Williams. Yeah, which, isn't Garth Williams the person who does most of Margaret Wise Brown's books? Oh my gosh. So there was one I wanted to read to you guys. This is so me. It's two pages long. It's a poem, I guess. It's the first one I showed you. This is so me. Where am I, how am I gonna read it? Okay, like this. I like people, glad people, sad people, slow people, mad people, big people, little people. I like people. I do. I like people. I like all kinds of people. So I like this. Probably gonna part with it, but it'll be hard to. Okay, Stanley. I had this when I was a kid, and I don't remember it being this long. Um, it's quite, it's a weekly reader. Is it chapters? Nope. It's just one long story. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I got a tickle. I think, um, if I remember right about this story, Stanley's a caveman, and all the cavemen and women, there are cave women in here, are tough. And this is sort of like a Ferdinand type story where he's not quite as tough and he wants to be gentle. And so it's that kind of a story. So I do remember liking this when I was younger. <sighs> Guys, wait till you see these next ones. Little Bear. I raised my boy on Little Bear and honest to gosh, it is one of the best things I ever did for my son. Um... I mean, love him and feed him was good too, but Little Bear is the sweetest. And my son just really took to him and wanted to be like him. So the show was excellent. 
is excellent. I might, I don't know if it's still going, but oh, I love Little Bear. So I grabbed this one. It has a little bit of an attic smell, but I'll get that out. And then a kiss for Little Bear. Mm. I just want to bite this one too. Oh, when the skunks kiss each other and like everyone's passing along this kiss from Little Bear's mama to Little Bear. So like, er if you haven't read it, you have to read it. Maybe I'll read it to you guys. <clears throat> this one I just grabbed to make a journal out of. I always uh, share my secrets with you guys. <laughs> and I think I told you I don't like The Wizard of Oz. Sorry. And what else did I tell you I don't like that I was a little worried about telling you? It doesn't matter. Let's not relive that. But I also don't really like the cat in the hat. I never really did. I thought he was a jerk. So I'll make a journal for someone who does love the cat in the hat. <clears throat> the little engine that could. You know what? I didn't watch the Looney Tunes because I thought they were jerks. I was such like a peace loving kid. And I mean, I changed a little bit. <clears throat> I got a little bit angry as I got older. And now I'm back to loving people, hopefully. Let me put, geez, I keep going. The sun is, it's main. It's been raining and sunny and raining and sunny. <clears throat> so yeah, my mom owned a daycare and she would play the Looney Tunes. And I, I remember just being like, why would you show this to kids? Why is everyone beating on each other? I just wanted to watch Mr. Rogers all the time. And um, the electric company. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's Sesame Street. Ignore me. I loved Sesame Street too. All right, now I'm biting my lip. What's going on here? Okay, the little engine that could. This is in really nice shape. I think these are all weekly readers. <clears throat> this one is 19, 19, ugh, Roman numerals, 19, 61. 61. 1961. I think this is a 70s one. I think I'm reading it wrong. That's a 70s binding. Okay, Noisy Nora. The Children's Choice Book Club, which I always tried to get my mom to let me join. But what she did, <clears throat> what she did instead was she bought them for me at yard sales. So I always had a lot of books. That's one wonderful thing I can say about my childhood, that I always had a lot of books. And so did my brother. I mean, we both had books, but kids either take to reading or they don't. And I read all the time. And I really don't remember my brother reading that much. He collected monkeys. Random. He loved Monchi cheese and he collected monkeys. <clears throat> Make way for ducklings. I need to clean this one up a little. I think I can. Just a little eraser stuff. This is a, um, another children's book club choice. And it was, uh, it's about... Well, it takes place in Massachusetts and Boston, but it was made by an author here in Maine. Very, very, very popular book in Maine. Everyone from Maine watching this right now is like, oh, you found yet another copy. But for somebody, this is new and different. Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. Did you not read this? Children's uh, Choice Book Club again. I love these hardcovers. I love them so much. And, oh, if you remember, it's there's a little sadness in it. But <clears throat> it gets better, guys. It's a really good book. So that one, William Steig. Okay, before I show you the last two paper ephemera ones that are really cool, I just grabbed this one for either a friend. It's all, like, not, it's not all. It's eight curious George stories inside. It's not vintage. <clears throat> but um, I might read some of them on my channel. It's been a while since I've read something on my channel, so I need to do that. So, anywho, this one might go to one of my neighbors. And, okay, so these... They're, they're going to be paper ephemera and mixed with some of my other paper ephemera stuff. Like, I'll do a lot uh, on a live sale. Look how bright I'm getting again. 
glowing. Okay. Guys, this is too precious. So Timmy Mouse has some stuff going on. Okay. It's a Rand McNally book. So I would sell this in a paper ephemera lot, but look. Mm, look at that coloring. Mm, mm, mm. How's the puppy, by the way? It's still sleeping. Look at this. The pages are in great shape. Like maybe some, oh, I'd frame that. Maybe someone could fix the binding. I don't know how to do that. There's some black and white in here, like black and white with a little pink. So that's so sweet. I have never in my life heard of Lucinda the Little Donkey. She's an elf book. I love elf books. By Rand McNally as well. They, the bindings just weren't the same on these as they were on the I Can Reader, Reader Choice, whatever. So pages are falling out, but I, I'm not letting that stop us from saving this. We are saving this. We are saving this. And I think they are saving Lucinda. There's something going on. And I don't want to tell it to you. Oh, you know what else? You don't see this very often. So I'm excited about that. A little color. Thank you. Thank you for that representation. So, yeah. I don't know if there is some multicultural. Yes! Here we go, in the very beginning, too. Good. Not a woman in sight, but uh, that's a story for another day. <laughs> so, yeah, this paper ephemera, for sure. And that's it, my friends. Um, yeah, that's it. I was going to show something else, but that's for another day. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm going to go get um, uh, that book that I wanted to read for the book reading challenge. And I'm just going to read it for my next video. My hair's did. My lipstick's on. I've got my Tim Hortons, so we'll read it next. So um, if you see anything that you want, message me. And you can check me out on eBay, Etsy, all the stuff. And I love you so much. And thank you for enjoying my puppy with me. If you want to see videos of the puppy, they are up on YouTube as well. They are in my furry friends section. So I love you guys. Truly, I love you. So thanks for everything. Bye for now.